Hi guys, welcome to Science in 5. In this video, we're going to discuss quadratic functions. Now, what we are aiming to do in this video is to show you how to plot a quadratic function. But before we go on to plotting, let's talk about the three forms of the quadratic function that you need to know. The first format says f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. In this format, you can see the a value the b value and the c value, which is important when you're going to be using other formulas that involve a, b, and c. We call that the standard form. The second format says f of x equals a into x minus x1, x minus x2, where these x1 and x2 values are the x-intercepts, where the graph cuts the x-axis. Third format f of x equals a x minus p squared plus q. The importance of this format is it gives you the coordinates of the turning points, which is pq. Okay, so p is the x coordinate of the turning point, q is the y coordinate of the turning point. Well, remember, you can say x is the axis of symmetry, the vertical line of symmetry that divides the quadratic function. If you're going to plot a quadratic function, you're going to need five different values. You're going to need x1, you're going to need x2, you're also going to need a, um, p, you're going to need q, and you're going to need c. So when you're asked to plot a quadratic function, you need all these values. All right. Okay, so let's suppose now we want to plot a function that says f of x is equal to x squared minus x minus 6. So we want to plot this function. Right? What are we going to do? Let's first get the two intercepts. Okay? I can clearly see that this quadratic function, the a value is 1, so it should be fairly easy to factorize. Right? Like that. Okay, so I can easily see that, well, I'm going to get two binomials. Guys, we've got another video that we've, where we've discussed how to solve quadratic fact, uh, equations by factorizing. Please be sure to check out that video. So, x and x are the first terms of the two brackets because x times x is x squared. The last term is a negative, which means I'm multiplying a positive and a negative. Positive times negative will give me a negative. The number there is 6. I need factors of 6, that will give me a difference of 3, um, a difference of 1 rather. These are the factors that work, because 3 minus 2 is 1, 2 minus 3 is negative 1. But how do I get the negative 1 here? I'm going to take the 2 and the 3. So 2 minus 3 will give me the middle term. So this now gives me the, the solution as x equals minus 2 or x equals a positive 3. So now I've got x1 and x2. The next thing I need to get is p and q. I can easily get the value of p by using this formula, minus b over 2a. So the axis of symmetry is always equal to minus b over 2a. Now, I need the equation to be in that format so I can see the b and the a value. Okay, my function is already in that format so I can easily see what b and what a is. So the b there is minus 1. The a is also 1. This gives me a half. So the p value, half. Once I get the p value, I can easily work out the q by substituting into the function when x is a half. So the function value when x is a half is going to be a half squared minus a half minus 6. This will give you negative 6 and a quarter, which is the same as negative 25 over 4. P and Q. Remember, P and Q always go together. They are coordinate points. 
Then the last value I need to get is the C value. I can easily see that C is when X is zero. So if X is zero, so C is minus six. I can see that, oh, so C is minus six. Now I'm ready to plot my quadratic function. I've got my five values. Now remember in the exam, guys, you'll have a nice graph paper, a nice grid to draw your axes, right? I'm going to draw mine like that. Not a perfect axis, guys, but hey, it works. Okay, it's going to work. So I'm looking for minus 2. Let's assume that minus 2 is there. And let's say 3 is round about there. Minus 6. If I make minus 6 there, then a half should be somewhere there. That's where the half is. And then negative 6 and a quarter or 25 over 4, there it is. So I've got a half and negative 25 over 4. This is that point there. So I'm going to go, remember it's a smiley face. A is a positive, so it's a smiley face. So I'm going to go like that. Remember always to draw the curve. The curve once, don't stop. So I'm going to go like that. There you go. This is my f of x. So, that is how you can plot a quadratic function by determining these five values and just plotting it like that. So guys, at metric level, plotting a quadratic function is an essential skill. You need to have this skill. Also remember these three forms of the quadratic function. Practice using them. It will help you a lot. Next video, we're going to talk about how to use the other forms of the quadratic function and also probably to determine the equation, given a graph, how would you go about it?